It's been two and a half years since the Knoxville Planned Parenthood Clinic was destroyed in a fire that was quickly deemed an arson. Now that happened on the last day of 2021. The clinic is still closed. However, that's set to change later this summer. Six News reporter Ella Wales found out what the organization's plans are for reopening its Cherry Street location. Just a few years ago, this site was up in flames, but now Planned Parenthood is looking ahead to the reopening of its Knoxville clinic in just a few months. In 2021, Liana Hinchy was a patient at Planned Parenthood in Knoxville. When I didn't have insurance, that was ended up being cheaper than going to like the health department. And so I ended up for all of my um, dysplasia, cancer screenings, I went and then for uh, birth control, I had PCOS. She had an upcoming appointment scheduled when the building was set on fire by a man on New Year's Eve in 2021, causing her to restart her search for affordable services. The health department was about three times as much as it was for me to go to Planned Parenthood for the same services. And especially with no insurance, that's, it comes down to Planned Parenthood actually looks at your income. They'll give you income-based care now, nearly two and a half years after the arson, Planned Parenthood Tennessee and North Mississippi CEO Ashley Cofield expects they'll start seeing patients at the Knoxville location again in August. We can't wait to see our patients. I think that we'll all be very emotional when that first patient walks through the door in the new health center. Under Tennessee's abortion ban, which has limited exceptions, the new Knoxville clinic will not perform any abortions. However, will resume its other health care services. Cervical cancer screening, um, breast cancer screening, the HPV vaccine. We do hypertension management. Uh, we provide gender affirming care, STI testing and treatment. Um, that includes HIV testing and counseling. Um, we do pregnancy testing and ultrasound services. Cofield says at the time of the arson, the clinic had about 4,000 patients. We said from the very beginning of this process that we are not going anywhere, that the Knoxville community wants there and we want to be there and we will come back and I and we've come back in a remarkably short period of time given what we had to um, to deal with and we are absolutely thrilled in Knoxville Ella Wales six on your side Cofield also said they plan to hold a ribbon cutting for the new uh, new building in September